Okay, welcome to my YouTube video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Motorola XPR 7550 uh, to your laptop via Bluetooth connection. This will allow you to program the radio uh, without having to buy the cord um, or connect the cord to your laptop, which makes programming so much more easier. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to the menu of my XPR, go to the Bluetooth setting, click okay and go to my status and I want to turn my Bluetooth on. So if you give it a second, it'll power on, and then it'll tell you it's connected. If you go back to your main screen, you will see the little Bluetooth icon right on the top there, which tells you that your Bluetooth is on. Okay, now you're gonna to want to go to your laptop, um, assuming your laptop has a Bluetooth connection, which it should, otherwise this will not work. Um, I'm going to select my Bluetooth icon on the bottom here. And you're going to see this pop up on the top. And what it's doing right now is it's automatically searching for a Bluetooth device. Once again, on my XPR, I got to turn that on so it's able to uh, be located. So once again, I go into Bluetooth, click OK, and find me. So now it's in discovery mode. Um, and my Bluetooth on my laptop timed out, so I'm just going to click OK. Um, and we're going to do it again. So it's searching. And it should find my radio here any second. Now there it is, Jake's Motorola. Okay, because it's in there because I have connected this before, so I have named the connection. So now what I'm going to do is click Next. Okay, and if you look... Now you will see my radio is in my Bluetooth settings and my connections. What I want to do now is I want to connect that Bluetooth. Okay, so it has discovered my radio, but I now need to connect to it. So you can right click and you'll see connect. And I will select that. And we'll give it a second, you'll hear a beep. Okay, it's asking if I wanted to connect to the said device. I'm going to click yes on my screen. And if I look at my XPR, it's asking me, do I accept or reject the connection? Obviously, I'm going to accept it. And pairing is complete. Okay, so if we look back up next to our Bluetooth icon is a little circle or a dot that is telling me I'm connected. And if I look closely on my connection on the screen, you see the little handshake icons right there, which tells me I'm connected. Now I, what I want to do is open my CPS, which is right here. And as you know, this will take a second to come on. Okay, now my CPS is open. And you see on the top, there's a Bluetooth icon. I want to select that, which turns on my Bluetooth. And it'll stay kind of bluish right there, which tells me it is going to program via Bluetooth. And now I can click read. It'll read the radio. The normal screen you see. I will say it does take a little longer than if you use the cable, only because it's sending the data over the Bluetooth connection. So it can take a few moments. Also depends how much um, programming you have in your radio as well. I have quite a bit, so it's going to take a uh, a few moments to complete. Okay, there's my programming. Uh, so it's connected to my radio, it's read the radio. And what I can do now is I can make any changes I need to. And then I can select the right icon and it'll do the same and it'll program my radio. So that completes this tutorial. Um, thanks for watching.